Understanding the phrase, on an island, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, on an island. This phrase isn't just about geography. It's a versatile expression used in various contexts. Let's dive in and uncover the different meanings and uses of this phrase. On an island, primarily refers to being physically located on a piece of land surrounded by water. It's straightforward. Think of places like Hawaii or Iceland. This literal sense is easy to visualize, but the phrase also has figurative meanings. In everyday language, on an island can imply isolation or separation from others. It's often used to describe someone feeling alone in their thoughts, emotions, or situations. For example, if someone says, I'm on an island at work, they might feel isolated from their colleagues. In sports, particularly in American football, a player, usually a defender, is on an island when they are covering an opponent one-on-one -on -one with little to no help. This usage highlights the pressure and isolation the player faces. The phrase is also used metaphorically in discussing relationships and social dynamics. When someone feels on an island in a relationship, they might feel disconnected or unsupported by their partner. Similarly, in a social context, it can describe feeling out of place or different from the majority. The phrase, on an island, is a great example of how English uses geographical terms to express complex emotions and situations. Whether it's literal or metaphorical, understanding this phrase can enrich your communication skills in English. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video has been enlightening. Remember, language learning is a journey, and we're here to guide you every step of the way.